Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Sims 4 Random Pets Laboratory Challenge! Where I have to admit, it is actually quite odd to go ahead and <laughs> sit here and uh, work with our lovely Snow Leopard, whose name ironically is Lily Flame, but what are you going to do when the random generator gives you, you know, the names, you just roll with it. <laughs> But I find it really ironic to be sitting here with Lily Flame as we step out on a snowy expedition for the sake of celebrating Snow Leopard Day, which was recently actually. And so I thought, why not load all of us up into the equivalent of whatever the laboratory magic school bus is, which is probably some sort of terrifying homemade rocket that is probably powered by like photosynthesis and it, 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 probably taped together with like the plastered remains of my to-do list but let's not contemplate how we got here friends instead today we are going to celebrate the fact that it was snow leopard day recently with uh, a little bit of snow leopard facts and also making a snow leopard and a pomeranian crossbreed <laughs> Because why not? And actually because that is one of the top requests. I have. A, I did a little search to see like what's one of the most popular Snow Leopard requests. And a fluffy little pom-pom radian is actually what you guys were after. So today we're going to see as we step out of our terrifying rocket ship of chaotic sciencey doom uh into the snowy plains of the himalayas to go ahead and visit with lily flame the beautiful snow leopard uh we're gonna go ahead and somebody is going to be carrying kyla under their arm so that we can use kyla's wonderful little pomeranian jeans by the way please a show of pause uh in the comment section if you have a pomeranian because i really love knowing what you guys have as pets or like if your family members have any of the animals that we work with though i really hope you guys don't have a snow leopard i'm gonna not probably believe you if you say you do uh, I'm, I'm gonna need snow leopard like photo tax or something in order to believe you <laughs> but uh i love that because especially uh pomeranians are are really adorable to me since my aunt used to have quite a few of them and i grew up with iggy and ziggy and i just really love knowing like oh there's tiny little fluff balls running around somewhere they really did kind of uh, like we had great danes so they really truly honestly did look like little just moving mobile fluff balls of fur to me especially considering you know we had great danes at home so I often like thought there was a squirrel running around. I didn't realize it was the Pomeranians. <laughs> oh my goodness. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, strap on, oh, in this case, our winter jacket and ignore the sound of the cicadas that you might hear in the background. Look, I can't help it if I've got very, very noisy bugs in my trees right now. I'm just hoping they get close enough for me to take some pictures with my macro lens so that we can add that to our Pikmin 4 adventures. But uh, all right, all right, enough getting distracted by all of this chaos. Uh, and speaking of the chaos or cat os catotic, perhaps. <laughs> I need to go ahead and introduce you guys to our lovely snow leopard with some snow leopard facts. Um, one of which is actually if you too would like a snow leopard, then you can go ahead and pluck these off the gallery from either Kalino or in this case from Pug Owned, who created both of these beautiful animals. And if you would like to add a few little snow leopardy tones and bits, then you can actually go ahead and you can get some of Kalino's mods to get whiskers and this lovely snow that you can see following and fresh across Lily Flame's back. Also, fun fact about snow leopards, there are about 4,000 to 6,000 snow leopards left in the world. Considering that they cover huge territories, it's very difficult to get accurate data on the census for them, but they are not currently listed as being endangered, which actually surprised me to learn because I just automatically assume like all of the big cats are endangered, uh, which is not true, but it's just like my knee-jerk reaction. <laughs> And they're currently not endangered, but it is very important that we make sure we keep an eye on their habitats, especially because they are native to, like I said, the Himalayas. It's supposed to be cold up there, the whole snow leopard part of things. And I don't know, I don't know if the Himalayas are heating up, but uh, that's a conversation for another day. <clears throat> In any case, other fun fact, 
They use their tails to keep their face warm when they sleep. They wrap their big fluffy tails around their body, plop it across their face, and that is how they actually go ahead and uh, keep themselves from getting too cold with their exposed little snoot while they are napping. So I love snow leopards. We'll be talking more about them. <sighs> probably over in our Planet Zoo episodes, to be sure. That's where I drag those of you who are really into the biology, into the depths of the weeds. But I know you guys are here for the chaos. So today we are actually going to be going ahead and we are going to be seeing what kind of little snow momians, snow omians, snow pom poms, maybe some like pomliards. <laughs> We are going to be creating, and I just remembered I forgot to get their, uh, their color jeans. One second. All right, and there we go. Don't mind me, just getting used to this really awesome new science that we have been doing to mix and match all of these animal genes. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in with our Petri dishes. I'm sure all of you are keeping proper track of the science, and we are going to have Lily Flame and Kyla actually go ahead and create a little female is what has been uh, rolled by the Dice of Destiny. And we're going to randomize one, two, Three, four, five. Oh, that's actually a really cute pattern. Okay, so this is the pattern. This is actually like naturally a really nice mix that we have here for Apple. So Apple, welcome, welcome to our laboratory challenge. You are going to be an aggressive, jumpy, and loyal snow pom-pom, like, like, pomer like, okay, so like Pomeranian leopard, Pomliard? I think if you're big, you're going to be a Pomliard, and if you're small, you're going to be a snow pom pom. That is, that's what I'm going with. I'm sticking with it. And Apple, you suggest cat camels. I wish we could do cat camels. What I would really love to see is I wonder if Kalina will actually be able or willing to make the horse camel custom content that she made into like something we could put on the small animals as well because blending those two together would be so cool oh i love all of the amazing things that she's done but we're gonna have to go ahead and check that out later for now apple my dear let me go ahead and figure out what colors you are going to be and you're actually going to be this color gray and then you're actually going to have black as your next color Oh my gosh, you guys, I love how we have been doing these. Oh my gosh, black is your next color too. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, wow. Okay, and then you're gonna have, let's see, it's gonna be this, gr oh my word. Oh my word. Okay, and then, and then, uh, oh my gosh. Okay, uh, and then you're gonna have this brown <laughs> from the Pomeranian. <gasps> Why have I not done this before? I am. I am, I am forever going to be so grateful to horses because they pushed me to try to make really unique offspring. And those unique offspring are gorgeous. Like, look at this. Look at how pretty this is. I am so happy with this. Yes. Okay. This, this, this will do. This will absolutely do. Uh, yeah, Apple, you're amazing. I don't know what you're going to grow up into, big or small, but whatever it is, you are stupid. Stunningly gorgeous, and I cannot wait to see. I never expected that from the Pomeranian and the Snow Leopard mix. Like, no offense to Lily and Kyla, but like having it so that we write down the color genes and then change it based off of what of our Dice of Destiny rolls is completely, completely changing how our laboratory works, and I love it. All right, let's go ahead and go through. I know I've been rambling quite a bit, but I'm just so excited to see you guys. Oh, okay. And now we're going to welcome in our next little one, who's actually going to be a little boy that we're going to randomize one, two. Ooh, this looks like it could be a really fun pattern cut too. And this one is actually going to be Winters after Ava Winters. And Ava, you say deer and zebra foals. Think about all the cute possibilities. Yes. Yes, that would be extremely cute. Let me grab my little notes where I'm, <clears throat> you know, keeping the good feel field notes so that we can have deer slash zebra. Yeah, we need to do some mixes with our horses again today too, because it's just been too much fun to be able to do that. Whoops, come back here, Dice of Destiny. All right, now, Winters, let's see what your personality is. You are going to be a friendly sleuth who is a couch potato, and the uh, genome that I'm reading for you says that you're going to have black as your first color, and then you're actually going to have, let's see, 
this brown as your next color. And then, oh, you're actually getting that brown as your next color too. All right, like I said, I'm not gonna complain. And then you are going to have, uh, let's see, it's gonna be this gray. <gasps> Ooh, Winters, look at you. Okay, I'm gonna be really intrigued to see if you grow up big and fluffy or if you're going to stay small. This is gonna be quite cute to see. Oh, you guys, I love all of the laboratory challenges we've been doing lately. I love doing all of the science with you. Oh, it's just so exciting. Also, this is a very, very beautiful offspring. A lily flame! Your genes are just making something amazing. All right, this time we're going to have another little girl and we're going to randomize one, two, and three. Aw, oh, dang it. I was hoping we would get the leopard spots, but that's okay. Because now that, like everything is so like i mean guys look at apple the randomness of mixing our our random genes together made apple i'm so happy with that so you know don't despair right over here little and then let me see dun 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 dun, dun. oh my gosh pumpkin patch <laughs> Rose Dragon, what cute names. Hang on just a second. I've got to, okay, I've got to put down a little marker. Eh, little marker. So Rose Dragon, uh, Pumpkin Patch. Oh my gosh, that's such a cute name. And you suggest Clouded Leopard and Rusty Spotted Cat, Hyena and Fox, Cheetah and Tiger. And if we could make a Seahorse Elemental and a Blaze Horse, and if we're doing Pokemon Breeds, <gasps> we should roll for every offspring to see if they're shiny or not. Rose Dragon, you brilliant scientist, you! I am so putting that down right now! Pokemon breeds! And then if we like get maybe double snake eyes, or like I roll a dice that has a small dice inside of it for doing all of these. So if it rolled like the same number, I think that that should actually be roll for shiny. Like, I don't know how we would make it shiny, but we would make it shiny. Sparkling. I am absolutely sparkling with these ideas. Oh, all right. So meanwhile, Rose Dragon, like, okay, Rose Dragon, you suggested Pumpkin Patch. And I agree. That's an adorable name. Uh, and Pumpkin Patch is going to be a jumpy, stubborn glutton who is going to have, let's see. So you're actually going to get white for your first color. Oh my goodness gracious. Uh, white for your second color. <laughs> And then your last color is actually going to be, uh, let's see, the, let's, this red. Oh, and it just barely showed up right down there. Oh, Pumpkin Patch, you want to really blend in with the snow. Pumpkin Patch is taking like the snow side of things really seriously, almost to the point where I wonder if Pumpkin Patch kind of has like a albino gene that's activated and that's just like mud and not actually the color brown. <laughs> So let's go ahead and roll for our next little Petri dish creation. And now, dun, 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 dun. we're going to have a little boy and we're going to randomize one, two, three, four, and we finally got spots. <laughs> I was really hoping we would get at least one with spots and sure enough, Foxy boy, welcome. Foxy boy, you are going to be a glutton who is playful and friendly. I very, very much love that personality because maybe you'll be very treat motivated, all the better with which to, uh, you know, keep us all safe in our laboratory. And you are going to have, let's see for your colors. No, 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 no. You're going to have this one. And then let's see. You're going to have, oh, actually that gray right there. So you're already the right color gray. Then you're going to have white for the next color. Ooh, so you're kind of like a paler coloration of the leopard. And then you're going to have this tan color. Ooh, so you really wanted to stay snow leopardy, but you did take on almost a lighter tone of, of like your whole body. Wow, okay. All right, and let's get our next little Petri dish creation and pull up one of you guys from the random comment generator. And now we're going to go ahead and we are going to have dun, 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 a little girl. Oh, look at that nose. Oh my gosh, I wish we could keep that nose. But the random generator says we're going to keep going. Two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, this is actually a really cute body though. And this is actually going to be Crow That Talks. I love that name. I love that name so much. If there is a uh, crow biologist 
and researcher who is quite popular on, uh, well, she was on Twitter and now she has moved to Instagram and TikTok and she's really cool to follow. I think she's called the Corvid researcher or like Corvid scientist. She's really fun to follow and she can teach you guys all about how to befriend crows. Highly recommended. Uh, like hot tip, don't look them in the eyes. They very much do not like being looked in the eyes, even if you're friendly with them. So crow that talks, you're going to be an independent, stubborn, smart, itty bitty little, well, I don't know if you're going to be a snow pom pom or a pom liard just yet, but you're excited about the idea that we might have buffalo in the future. I didn't even think about that, but custom content for the horses that would be buffalo would be amazing to see. Oh my goodness. All right, so let's go ahead and give you your colors. You're going to have, you're gonna have this, oh wow, that's very, that's very cool. You're gonna have that as your first color. Oh my, oh my gosh. <laughs> every single time every single time we get a unique beautiful offspring now crow that talks oh my goodness i am never going to be kind of like aw bummed out about what seems to be a quote unquote normal looking uh coloration ever again because we have this new way of doing the jeans yes oh, okay Let's go ahead and pull up the next little Petri dish and the next one of your guys' comments from the random comment generator. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, that's adorable. All right, we're gonna have a little boy and we're going to be rolling one, two, three, four, five. <gasps> Another one with spots and cute little curly ears. Yes. All right. And this little one is actually going to be Dyson. After McKin uh, me, Kinsey, Dyson, you got picked again by the random generator. I'm telling you guys, I truly, I put in the latest laboratory videos and I just let the random generator go. Uh, sometimes I'll go for the old videos too and just smush them all together into a gigantic pile of comments. And the random comment generator can pick you guys like multiple times in a row. Personally, I think you should go outside and roll around in the grass to find a four leaf clover if that happens. So good luck, uh, Mikinzi. I very much hope that you find a four leaf clover because you got picked like almost two times in a row. That's amazing. And this time you're going to be a friendly hunter who is hairy. And let's go ahead and see what kind of coloration you are actually going to have. So your top color is going to be, let me double check. Yeah, this tan color. Then you're going to have white. Oh my gosh. I love how unique all of it looks so quickly. <laughs> oh, okay, let's see. And then you're actually going to have white again. Oh my gosh, you look like a little Dalmatian. I am such a sucker for that. And then you're going to have this gray. I love this. This is so cute. Every single one of these offspring looks so different. This is the only way I'm ever doing anything with pets in The Sims 4 ever again. Ah, but all right, friends, now it's time to go ahead and see what these little ones grow up into being. Are they going to be a, a palm liard or are they going to be snow pom poms? Let's find out, shall we? Apple, my dear, you're up first. Are you going to go for big or small? What do you say? Big it is! Big it is! Apple, I don't even know how to interpret like the size, the sheer size and shape of you. I don't know where you got that gigantic muzzle. I don't really know where you got your coloring. You literally look like you should go and hang out with the African wild dogs, to be completely honest. Or excuse me, now they're called African painted dogs. Um, wow. Yeah, actually now I want to do some stuff with wild dogs. Okay, that's going on the list too. Along with, oh, I forgot to put Pomeranian and Great Dane because we were talking about it earlier. Yeah, that's gonna be a good mix. There we go. All right, so, wow. <laughs> Winters, you're up next. Big or small? <gasps> yes, we got a small one. We have a little snow pom-pom who doesn't really look like a snowy pom-pom whatsoever, but perhaps the name Winters indicates that they do indeed enjoy going into the cold. Uh, and you know what? If this little one like perched on some of those mountainsides in Nepal and just waited, they look like a little rock. I'm pretty sure at the very least they could eat some some pika, if not the, like the blue sheep that the, the snow leopards normally eat. Winters, you're adorable and give me hope that we're gonna have more fluffy little ones. Pumpkin Patch, who I think ended up being albino. There you go. Nice, okay. 
straight up uh, just ready to go ahead. You've got practical plans. Where on earth are you guys getting this muzzle though? I'm quite, I'm quite. Is it the muzzle in the Pomeranian just made large? That's so interesting. Foxy boy, are you going to be our small spotted snow pom pom? No, you're going for very, very big. <laughs> <laughs> with a cute curly tail and gigantic ears and a huge muzzle again. Is that just like this little Pomeranian, uh, like Kyla just really wished that they had super long muzzles so they could, I don't know, hunt better? Huh, what are they gonna hunt? More ankles? Uh, crow that talks, let's go ahead and see what you're going to be. Ah, oh, you're huge again! Wow! I didn't expect these to be so strong that way, but I guess like these are gonna be some gigantic animals, even though they have a Pomeranian for a parent. And Dicelin. Okay, Dicelin, that's more like what I thought. We've got the ears, we've got the curly tail from the Pomeranian, we've got a beautiful mix of spots and dots, and I love it. So all right guys, thank you so much for joining me on another one of our Labarkatory challenges, diving in and creating offspring that I never would have imagined. I really was hoping for more tiny little fluffy pom-poms, so if you guys could, do please keep those suggestions coming in the comments down below, and the random comment generator just might pick you to be a pom -liard. It's an honor, I'm sure. Probably. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Stay curious, everyone. Bye bye